This is a Sunspot device, a small wireless transducer from Sun Microsystems Labs. And if you've already got a Sunspot kit and you've downloaded the latest SDK, you've got all the software you need to connect to the Scratch visual programming environment. Scratch is a system freely available from MIT. In Scratch, you work with these little blocks that you drop into place to create a computer program. So here I'm creating a program that, for example, controls the orientation of this little sprite on the screen. I'll assume you already know how to download and run code on the Sunspot. In your Sunspot SDK, you'll find the Demos directory. Inside the Demos, look at the AirStore project. It contains AirStore Demo Scratch on Spot. This is the application you want to deploy to your Sunspot. Later, we'll also be using AirStore Demo Scratch on Desktop. Once you've downloaded the application onto your Sunspot, go ahead and run the Scratch programming environment. In the Scratch environment, select the Sensing category and get a copy of one of these sensor value blocks. If you right-click on there, you'll see a menu entry, Enable Remote Sensor Connections. Those remote connections, in our case, are going to be a Sunspot. Scratch is now ready to connect to the world of Sunspots. We'll need to run a special program to enable it to do that. Step one, plug in your base station so that your laptop or computer is ready to communicate with sunspots over the radio. Now we need to go into the directory containing the on desktop portion of the Scratch demo and run that. Ant host run. And just like that, your Sunspot is connected back to your Scratch environment. Look at one of these sensor value blocks. If you pop up the menu here, you can see down at the bottom are some variable names, A total, AX1, and so on, that are coming from your Sunspot. So let's get the light level, and we'll set the size of our sprite over there, the little kitty cat, to the light level on the sunspot. We can also, I'm going to put that in one of these forever loops. We can also set the X position to, let's see, another sensor block. I'm going to use the X coordinate of the acceleration as the X coordinate of our sprite. I'll put that in the uh, forever block as well. Double clicking on that runs our little program. And now I put my hand over the sunspot and I cause the sprite to change size and I tip my spot left and right and I cause the uh, sprite to move left and right. It's also possible to use the scratch environment to control the spot. In this case I'm going to control the position of this LED light. Go into your Scratch environment and click on the Variables category. Click Make a Variable, and it'll ask you the name of the variable. In this case, carefully type LEDX with a capital X, and say OK. There's our new variable name. Over in the window to the right, you'll see our variable represented here. By double-clicking on it, I can create a little slider. And if you play with that slider position, you'll see, lo and behold, on the spot, the blue lights move around. If you know even a little Java programming, it's a simple matter to extend the on-spot portion of the demo to add other variables to control other aspects of the spot. For example, you can control servo motors that you could attach to these little pins here, speakers, and so forth. Or you could also modify the demo code to export other aspects of the spot. For example, the onboard temperature can be sent out, or these two push buttons. Have fun playing with your spot and scratch.